In 2022, while out scouting for elk out in the wilds of Alberta, Dale had an encounter with a juvenile Sasquatch and its mother. But before we get into his encounter, welcome back to Dark Wilderness. If you've had an encounter with anything that you'd like to have shared on the show, please email me at the link below. You can join us on Facebook now as well. There's a link in the description below for that. And if you like today's story, please gently slap that like button. And the next time you're out in the woods and you happen to catch a glimpse of something that you think's a bear, before you turn around and start making your way back to the truck, don't forget to grab that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Now, let's get into today's encounter. Today's encounter comes from a member of our Facebook group named Dale and it happened in October of 2022 while he was out scouting for elk out in Alberta. Dale was 66 years old at the time and he was a very avid hunter. And just like any avid hunter, he was doing his preseason legwork by going off scouting. Now, a lot of people think that going hunting is just going and sitting in the woods or going walking through the woods and trying to come across your game, whatever game species you're going after. But to really be successful when it comes to hunting, you have to do a lot of preseason legwork and that includes scouting, running trail cameras, especially for elk because an elk dope really hang out in one location for too long they move as a herd and they'll cover a pretty big area and they kind of go up in a big loop around whatever area that they really call home so on this day dale was out going scouting for elk trying to figure out the best place for him to go when he would be hunting so dale was making his way along this fence line that ran along a whole bunch of ridges the ridges would go up and when they came back down, they would go into these little valleys that were just absolutely full of muskeg. If you don't know what muskeg is, muskeg is pretty much water, mud, weeds, kind of all mixed together with a surface layer of moss. When you step on it, it's very springy, very damp. And if you're trying to drive a quad or a truck through it, chances are you're going to get stuck and you're going to get stuck pretty bad. So Dale was making his way along this fence line, going up these ridges, down into these valleys and every time he would get to the top of one of these ridges which was about 10 feet tall he would be able to see about 200 yards further down this fence line when dale got to the top of one of those ridges he noticed this dark figure kind of standing off the side of the trail right up by that fence and his first thought when he saw that was that it was a bear so he immediately stopped started looking directly towards this thing and that's when you notice that this thing had a conular shaped head with real dark black hair. But as the hair went down a little bit further, it turned into a real dirty blonde color and it was about 10 inches long. At this point now, Dale's looking at this thing and he's thinking now that this was a cinnamon bear, not a black bear, just a cinnamon phased bear. So he stood there looking at this thing and this thing turned its head and looked towards him. And that's when he noticed that this thing did not have the face of a bear. He described the face of this creature looking more kind of like the face of like a chimpanzee, but kind of like a primate. But again, looking at this, he wasn't quite processing exactly what he was seeing, and he was still trying to convince his mind that he was looking at a bear. And that's when he noticed that this thing actually had its arm coming around a tree, and he could see a hand. He said the hand kind of had a real dark skin on it very little hair and at this point still he was thinking like what am I looking at and he was trying to convince himself that this thing was still a bear so Dale's standing there looking directly at this thing when all of a sudden he notices off to the side another one of these things but a lot larger so his focus got pulled towards this larger creature stepping out from behind a tree as this thing stepped out it kind of turned and looked towards him and Dale again he was just completely still not moving a muscle and he said that this thing definitely knew he was there but he feels like it couldn't quite see him because he was completely decked out in camel so this creature is looking at Dale as it walks across this cut to the fence right up by that little one right as it gets up to the little one it leans over towards it, still laser focused on Dale, kind of cups its hand a little bit and kind of gives the small one a little bit of a tap on the back of the head, kind of like a mother giving a child a warning, being like, hey, we gotta go. 
So Dale's watching this thing, and as it's doing that, he could tell that this larger creature, this larger Sasquatch, was 100% female. He said he could just tell by the body structure of it. He could see its breasts, and he said that along its chest, the hair was a lot thinner. And he said that as the thing tapped that little one on the head, it still stayed laser focused, just looking directly towards him. At this point, it stepped behind a tree, and then out from the other side of it, still looking directly towards Dale. And then it took a couple of more steps into the real thick bush. The entire time, that little one just kept looking around the tree towards Dale as well. At this point, Dale was getting incredibly nervous because he didn't know if this larger one was trying to flank him. At the same time, he's wondering, like, where's the dad? Because obviously this is most likely this thing's mom. And he didn't know if it was going to get violent. He didn't know if they were going to be super protective of their young, just like a bear. Dale, who at this point completely forgot that he even had his rifle slung over his shoulder, decided that was enough for him. And he was just going to head back to his vehicle. So he turned around and he started making his way back. The entire time he would turn around, look behind him, just to make sure he wasn't being followed. Sure enough, he was not followed all the way back to his vehicle. Once he got there, he hopped in and he headed straight home. Now, Dale's description of the, the Sasquatch, especially the mother Sasquatch, with the real dark hair at the top turning to a cinnamon brown, I've heard quite a few descriptions of Sasquatch matching those same type of color features. Now, one thing I did find very interesting about his description of that mother Sasquatch was its facial features. He said that its face appeared to have absolutely no hair whatsoever on it. He said its skin was very black and he said he could tell that it had no hair because of the fact that he could see the sun kind of reflecting off of the oils of the skin. Now that baby Sasquatch that Dale did see at first was about 50 yards away from him. So I'm really kind of wondering exactly how close that mother Sasquatch would have been in order for him to have seen that much detail. All I know is if I was in that situation, I probably would have completely freaked out. I would have turned around the same way Dale did. Now, Dale did mention that when they were looking at him, he felt like that they knew he was there, but they could not quite see him because of his camouflage. I've heard a lot of stories about Sasquatch that kind of have that same kind of look when they're looking towards somebody wearing camo or wearing a ghillie suit. Uh, but I've also heard a lot of stories on how they could really pick up kind of even on the infrared signature of a trail camera. So I believe that that Sasquatch for sure knew Dale was there and could for sure see him and was just kind of trying to judge what he was going to do based on that type of reaction by it looking at him just trying to see if you know if he was for sure a threat so if you can leave a comment to the comment section just let me know your thoughts on that but that's it for today's encounter as always thanks for joining us and if you haven't done so already the next time you're off in the woods and you happen to see something that you think's a bear before you turn around start making your way back to your vehicle grab that subscribe button and i'll see you next time